In 2009, uh, my life changed dramatically. I'd been struggling with uh, depression, um, addiction to painkillers, and um, a lack of ability of doing anything. That was due to a road traffic accident. My, uh, my wife, Angela, pushed me to go and buy a pint of milk. Now, ordinarily, that would be a, a really easy thing to do. But for me, it was a, a massive thing. I left the house and walked around the corner and I just happened to notice a little brown muzzle. From that day, my target was to go and see Max again. And that's what I did every day. And that was how our relationship started. One day, Max's owner came out and uh, I asked if I could take Max for a walk. And she said, yeah, absolutely. The first walk was literally a 50 meter walk further up the road. From the moment I met him, we've just had this incredible bond. The short walks progressed into bigger walks and that became the norm. We started walking further and further. We set off and we walked and we got to the summit of Cat Bell. And we sat on the top of Cat Bell and I thought, if I can do this, what else could I achieve? And this idea of walking at Ben Nevis suddenly dropped into my head. We set off one day and we walked Ben Nevis. Every step I took, Max was with me. And every time I stopped and faltered, he stopped with me too. He just stayed by my side. And we got to the top and it was probably the most emotional day of my life because we've come so far it's just way up there as one of the best days of my life. And then one day, uh, Max's owner took me to the side and, and explained that they were leaving uh, town and would I like to adopt Max? And of course, for me, that was just the best news I could ever hear. My anxiety levels just disappeared. Um, I was calm, I was more relaxed. And that's because of the fear of Max not being there when I went to pick him up. He was right there by my side all day. I decided to retrain as a locksmith and that was basically that Max could come with me in the van. And every day we started taking pictures of where we were and what we were doing or how far we'd walked. And people started liking the pictures, and which was really nice. And then one day somebody said, well, why don't you have a Facebook page for Max on his own and um, Max out in the Lake District was born and then one day I thought maybe he might enjoy having a little furry friend lo and behold we found a puppy which we later called Paddy and Paddy was a live wire but he got on so well with with Max and Max kind of takes pups under his wing and kind of shows them the way. Once uh, Paddy came to live with us, our Facebook page lit up and the following increased dramatically. And so did the amount of people who wanted to come and meet uh, Max and Paddy. We started doing meet and greets and then one day I just decided to do a charity walk and we raised about a thousand pounds and it was just incredible. And we decided to keep doing the charity walk because it was a great way of meeting people also a great vessel for people to actually start opening up about what their dog meant to them or what Max and Paddy meant to them too. And that for me was quite incredible. And then I got a phone call to say that Paddy's mum was expecting another litter. And I mentioned this to Angela and said, what about another puppy? And she said, yeah. And within two minutes, she was Googling dogs names and we stuck on Prince Harry of Winterfells. We've had uh, some amazing adventures with our dogs. We've had the privilege of a photo shoot with the Chinook Force. We were invited down to Buckingham Palace and on the actual day of entering the palace and into the gardens, we then found out we were going to be presented to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, uh, Prince William and Kate. And William sort of pointed at Max and said, and who's this chap? And I said, well, this is, this is Max. And he basically saved my life. And we started talking about depression and I just found that quite incredible. I've no doubt that Max has made a massive difference to my life. 
it makes me quite humble to realise that he's done the same for so many. And it's all through social media and um, meet and greets, charity walks. And we'll walk with people who will then later send me a message and say, thanks for letting us meet Max. By the way, he helped me through bereavement. He helped me through a tough time. Uh, and at the moment we're getting how much he's helped people through lockdown. We started doing live feeds on our daily walks because we've got the Lake District here. This is you know, our home, this is where we can walk and exercise. And I think we gave that release to people that there was a sense of normality still out there. We celebrated Max's birthday on, in August and we normally hold a charity walk for the dog's birthday but unfortunately through lockdown we couldn't. But we could do a charity walk ourselves so we decided to revisit Ben Nevis. And we raised £101,000 in just under six weeks which is a bit of a record, definitely a record for us. But I think that highlighted the importance of what Max meant to other people. Max, you are my hero. I've had a rough couple of years. But watching Max out in the Lake District every day, twice a day, lifts my spirits no end. He's given me a reason to get out of bed in the morning. Because he's cheered us up so much while we've been shielding at home. And Max's daily blogs have been absolutely fantastic in keeping us positive and giving us hope. I work as a primary school teacher and support children with mental health and Max has been my support for my mental health. I work on the Corvette Ward and on challenging days what I would seek comfort in was to catch up with Max. It just gives you a bit of an escape. Max? Paddy? Harry? You have made me smile and laugh. And we follow Max every day on his adventures. And because of that I feel inspired to follow my dreams. He's inspired me to set up my own dog grooming business. And he made me get a puppy. Puppy. I love listening to Max and my bedtime story. I hope to meet you one day, Max. Do not stop what you are doing. Thank you, little friend. So you can see how Max has not only had a massive impact on Kerry's life, but his activities, all the stuff Kerry has been filming with him, have, have reached the lives of hundreds of thousands of people right across the world. And that impact is, is not only around people's physical, but also their mental well-being. And that's particularly played out in his role as a, a virtual therapy dog, where he demonstrates the real positive impact that animals can have on people's lives. We're very proud and honoured to be able to present you with the PDSA Order of Merit for your outstanding contribution to society and the role in which you continue to play today during this very difficult pandemic period. For Max to receive any recognition to me is unbelievable, really. He doesn't just make me proud, he makes everybody proud. He's a hero without a cape.